Okay, so hello again. Uh, I'm Jean. I'm gonna tell you about uh, some of the tools uh, we've been using and we've been building over Triton for our needs. So, for quickly, uh, who we are, we're working in the insurance business. So, we're using Triton to build an insurance software which will be used by uh, insurers, brokers, and all. Uh, to manage their clients, their contracts, their billing, everything, all uh, everything that will, that will happen when you call someone, uh, your insurer, because you got a car accident or anything, they use our software to manage it, to check that, uh, for instance, your contract is valid, to check that the car you used, uh, what the car you uh, paid for, and to check what uh, you're entitled to. So, what we're using really in Triton is the core servers. The core server and some basic modules like currency, country, a little uh, party, a little accounting. But uh, what we're doing is mainly uh, verticalization because uh, well, insurance is a complex uh, business business line, let's say. So um, we come from this business. We we we've been working on insurance software before. So uh, we're trying, we say, hey, well, how about uh, building something new? <coughs> so uh, going open source on an open platform and build a software uh, which will be cheaper, but also that will use the fact that uh, there is a lot of regulations in the insurance business. And we would like to say it would be a good idea if everyone, every, our, every one of our clients would uh, benefit from the improvement we're doing regarding regulations, for instance. So what we are really building are first a generic and a business framework that uh, we use uh, for the specific needs of insurance and uh, business models. So, quickly, yeah. What kind of insurance? I mean, is it more like the healthcare type of insurance? Uh, well, or? our goal is to manage everything. So right now, <laughs> we're a little more. Uh, we're working mainly on uh, life insurance and uh, <coughs> yeah, cash value a little, and uh, we're planning on uh, health, health insurance and uh, PNC at all. But right now we we mainly worked on life, and uh, because it's what we know the most, and mainly because we're waiting. We are um, well, you know, it's very uh, I say it very it's rather complicated. So we're waiting. We we work with our clients. If you if you got a client who say I'm I need uh, I need uh, I don't know car insurance, we'll work on car insurance because we know how to do it and we built our uh, business framework to be able to handle it. But uh, we right now we can't do everything, so we're focusing on uh, key points and uh, we'll go where our clients want us to go and hopefully in ten or fifteen years we'll have done everything. But it's very wide, so uh, it might take some time. So what I want to tell you about now is all the cool stuff that we did with Triton. Uh, we worked a lot uh, with B2CK uh, for this because uh, it's might be complicated. So I just want to, to show you what we did. Um, we think most of it is well, it might not be uh, usable by, by everyone. It's, it's uh, something we use for us. But maybe if, some, if any one of you is interested, just talk to us and uh, we'll think about uh, making it available to everyone. Uh, right now, we consider it's mainly for our use, but uh, it's, it may change. So one thing, the mixed list widgets. Uh, so I think a demo will be faster. So we wanted to be able to so just don't look uh, the names and everything. It's, we, we, we don't have the time to enter the details of the insurance. Uh, yeah, into that. Uh, so this is a contract. What I want to sh what I want to show to you is this. We got here a list, it's a tree view, and here we got a form. And what's interesting is this. You can just go like this, and it updates the view according to what you select in the tree. <coughs> so it's some kind of a widget, uh, iTunes widgets, and uh, well, you got I don't know where anything like a music library. You got a list of artists. <coughs> Click on an artist, you got a list of albums. Click on an album, you got a list of tracks. We want this. <laughs> so, no. So, no. <laughs> yes. so we've oh, been now. <laughs> <laughs> we've been working with B2CK on this. It's rather complicated. It's not perfect, and it's not um, 
fully uh, functional yet. We're planning, we, we want this to be in Triton as well. So uh, there, are review, there are private reviews for now, but we, we hope someday to, it will be able to be, uh, it will be accepted into Triton. Because uh, something else which is fun is that, you know, those two lines, for instance, uh, it's another thing we, we, we're working on, there are different models. So we're showing in the tree view two different models, where there's <coughs> much money between them, but where, where the idea is that we really have, um, for instance, just talk insurance a second. Uh, this is uh, life insurance, more or less. So we got a person that subscribed the insurance and say, I want to be uh, covered in case of I die. That's, uh, so I will just pay, pay for my funeral and everything. That, sorry, that's not very happy, but that's the way. <laughs> so we are we usually on the contract, you may have three different person that, uh, that are covered by the contracts. And each of those person may choose I want to be covered for uh, in case I die. Uh, I want to, to have my funeral paid for, but uh, I, may, I may also want to, uh, I don't know, um, uh, I want to pay for my children so they have some, uh, some money to, uh, for their education <coughs> and everything. So we got to be able to have a list of uh, who, who are the people who are covered by the contract and for each of those people, what are they covered by? The, fa the fact is, if we used a standard Triton, uh, we tried it at first, but the fact is we quickly had uh, quite a lot of pop-ups on the one and the other because it will, there was no way it would fit on a single screen. So we, we think, thought about it, talk with uh, <coughs> Cedric, and he, he came up with a solution. That's not yet perfect, that's why it's not yet uh, in Triton, but we're working on it and we hope it will soon be available. <laughs> Uh, well, that's it. That was the first one. We got other things, tables. So tables, tables, and that. Uh, so I'm sorry for those were in the, in the back of this of the room, but I just can't really zoom in. But uh, we want we wanted a way. Uh, <coughs> uh, in insurance, usually when you when when you subscribe a contract, you say. Yeah, uh, so my car is red, and uh, that's been uh, twelve. It's, it's twelve years old. It's uh, I don't know. It's a BMW, etc., etc. And everything you're saying is gonna change the price you pay. Uh, so we ha we ha we needed to have some way to uh, to be a little dynamic because these uh, algorithms and e e every one of our clients has different algorithms, and we didn't want to have to. Uh, Hard code them uh, aside, uh, so uh, and uh, be this being a customization and a modification of the Python files. So what we did is we built uh, a way to define through the uh, through the the application uh, the algorithm that they wanted to use for their pricing. For instance, there are other algorithm, but that's an example. So first of all, we needed a way to define <coughs> tables because uh, usually in insurance uh, prices are calculated through tables. So you may have a t this is mortality table. Sorry, it's uh, not very happy. So it just says uh, your age, and depending on your age, your sex, you got uh, your uh, life uh, expectancy. How much? How much uh, was total? I don't remember exactly uh, what it was. That the idea. We wanted a way to uh, be able to, s to enter those data easily because there are a lot of tables and we just couldn't uh, enter them manually, etc. So we developed something that's this. You just say here. So this is a table. It has two dimensions, which are kind. So this is range. Uh, the name is the age. This is a value. The name uh, <coughs> is the sex. So I choose if you're male or female. You just uh, input <coughs> here, uh, hopefully it will work. Yeah, just enter the uh, possible values for the dimension. Uh, it creates, uh, and then you can just, uh, here there is special light, which will open and tell you, see you, a uh, two dimension way uh, of your table. So it's a, a totally generated uh, view for the columns, and you can just, Enter the view and copy past everything you want from Excel or uh, Open Office or Calc at all. Well. So it's something that we use, but we feel it's very uh, insurance uh, related. So if, an, if anyone's interested, I, I, is this a widget or is this a model in the uh, server side? So this is uh, totally Tritonic. 
there is nothing that's not right on almost. It's using a cool feature of uh, PostgreSQL to uh, to be able to. There are tables which are like uh, 1,000 rows and maybe 100 columns, so it's rather big. <coughs> and we didn't want we didn't want to have to load the whole table just to look for a value. So uh, th it's using uh, a feature of Postgres, which um, so the idea that each cell is a line. Postgres. Uh, the other view, yeah. It's a pivoting uh, function. What? It's a pivoting yes. function. Yeah. Yes. The one of the, the contributor, country. Yeah, it's in, in same country, and we're using it. Uh, okay. It's also, uh, well, so uh, this is really the table, uh, the cells which are related to the world. You know, you, you know, there are four possible dimensions right now, so it's more of a problem if you want to visualize it. But and you say the value uh, for the first dimension, the value for the second dimension, etc. And the final value. And when we want to to uh, read, uh, we say, I want to know uh, what's uh, this, what the value of the table if mm -hmm. I'm uh, 20 years old and uh, I'm a man. Uh, I just have to look up, it's just one select in the database with one row and it's done. So it's very efficient and uh, we like it. Now I'll show you why we're, what we're using it for. This is a custom widget. Uh, this is where we allow our clients to write the algorithms. So this is writing code. Uh, this is evaluated uh, from the uh, we're calling it from the uh, from the application. So we got here a list of uh, sorry it's not translated but it's a list of possible uh, functions that you can use. So for instance you can just use uh, this drag and drop and you got the function call. Um, <laughs> I want this too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is very custom. It, in, it involves the client patch, so it's not uh, it's not easily uh, distributable. But it's also I'll just we'll just talk about it later. Um, John, what is the name of this? Rules? Or yeah, we call it rules. It's a rule engine. Rule. That's the way we call it. Uh, so. You can do quite a lot of things, for instance, here. But, but there are several usages for this, for email templating, for example. This is great. It could be, yeah, it should be possible as well. So here, for instance, you see, oops, sorry. Uh, this is uh, a call to uh, a table, the table I showed you earlier. I'm showing you just need the show. We calculate uh, the number of years between the birth date and now. Uh, we give the uh, <coughs> name of the, uh, of the second one, and we get the value. And everything's going to uh, return results. That's all. <laughs> so it, it takes quite a lot of cool things. You can, uh, for instance, you can call other rules from this rule. We can, you, can set, uh, you can set this rule as, uh, as uh, parameters uh, that uh, you can use. Uh, so when we call the rule from another rule, we can just uh, set the parameters in the, in, uh, between parentheses. It's rather efficient. and. Well, we use it a lot. We knew we wanted this as soon as we started working on, the, on this project because uh, we, we got some history in the insurance software and we know it's something our clients are asking for a lot. So uh, we went for it and it's really cool. You can, you can use, well, I, I won't show it now because no time, but you can use test cases. So you can say, uh, uh, with those inputs, my expected result is this one. So when you modify the algorithm, you can check that uh, it, you didn't break everything. So rather cool, and there is a debug tool here, but otherwise uh, I didn't show it either. Um, well, I, what I'm gonna do with this? Uh, I don't know if I can spread on it. Uh, okay, watch about. I might be uh, for if, if any of you is interested, I'll talk to you about it later. So we can check uh, the execution <coughs> e each time the rule is called. We can ha have a log of exactly what happened, uh, what was the, re the re return value of every uh, every co every function call. Uh, we can have, uh, if, there, if there was a crash in the rule, you can say here, the crash was here, just have a look and what was the problem. So it's very useful. And we use it everywhere. I show you, maybe I'll show you later. Uh, so what else? Uh, processes, yeah. Uh, so processes. This is another cool stuff. Uh, we wanted, well, yeah. Uh, only you Previous uh, tasks. Yeah. Uh, the complex 
Does one, you mean? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's specific to the widget. We're using an external lib, which is called uh, GTK source view, and it includes bindings for those buttons, which are under redo in, the, in, this, uh, in this text. But uh, we, we had the look yesterday with Cedric uh, about the uh, undo, uh, undo question, and the fact <coughs> that they're using uh, the, the bindings for undo and undo, I uh, built in the uh, DC extension. So it's not. Is that something for us? Oh, yeah. So wait, wait, there's also something cool. You can do this, uh, for instance. Uh, <coughs> and this as well. You do that, and you got uh, <laughs> a syntax check. So you can <laughs> it, it will check uh, quite other things. But first of all, we want to be sort of, sort of sure that uh, you won't break everything by jumping something here. You cannot do a, a import transaction and drop DB uh, everything. Uh, because the only thing that are allowed in the function calls are those which have been defined here. So this definition is dynamic. It's been uh, it's built from uh, there are a list of elements which are bind bound <coughs> bound to functions, but it's uh, it's defined in the database. And also uh, here, I'll show you. Those, for instance, are uh, dynamically calculated. So you can say uh, here, for instance, you can use this here. This table. I say, hey, I want to use this table in my rule. So uh, the idea was to to have an object that will <coughs> create a relation <laughs> between the table and the rule, so that you don't delete the, the table uh, at all. And uh, when you create a new instance here, for instance, it will add it be added to the tree, uh, the left tree, and uh, the pass the the parser will uh, will know it's uh, an alone alone element. So yeah. Uh, it check, well, it checks quite a lot of things. It checks, uh, for instance, this that this, uh, we created a new uh, a new variable name that's not used, so uh, well, it's it's not an it's not blocking, <coughs> but it's an error. Okay, and now I can just sit around Z or uh, Y. Okay, that's it. So processes. Uh, we had a few problems with uh, Triton processes, or workflows, I'd say. Uh, the fact is, again, our clients are just uh, want to be able to change everything. And by everything, I mean they want to be able to say, so this is a subscription process. It's what's happened when you're calling uh, adventure and say, hey, I would like to subscribe a contract uh, which will cover me. Uh, yeah, I guess it's uh, death again. Uh, <laughs> so uh, <coughs> they input quite a lot of data, and uh, there are quite a lot of checks uh, that will be validations that should be done. And I mean, the workflow for this for this depends on every client. There are clients who say, "Hey, I want first to set the subscriber and uh, all of other things. I want to see. Uh, I want to set the documents as first thing." So it changes every time. So we had to have a way to make something that was uh, uh, customizable among this. So we couldn't use the Triton workflow, which is a little too simplistic for this kind of use. So we built ours. Uh, what you see here is um, a mix between a wizard and workflows. When I say it's a mix between a wizard, that there are a succession of screens uh, so for those who don't see it, previous next at the bottom, and <coughs> you get you can just go previous next, and uh, the screen is calculated depending on this. So it's uh, in the under the hood, it's rather complicated. With you, with bu we're building a huge screen view with a lot of states and invisible, but that's sort of the best we could do. Uh, maybe we'll change it later, but that's the best we could come up come up with right now. Um, so what's interesting, you can just go uh, skip from step to step. Um, the idea is that between the transition, you're calculating automatically the different the code that must be executed, and uh, while it works rather good, we can uh, you can you can go back previous etc etc. Um, <coughs> well, that's it. That's something we're using. Uh, what's interesting? The yeah, process description. The the idea that we're using uh, we're allowing the uh, the users. Um, not the user, but the, the functional administrator to change the processes. So you can. Um, this is the definition of uh, the process we just saw. So, uh, 
So what we got here, we just say uh, which kind of, uh, no, wait, where is it? Here, the model on which uh, the process applies. And you got here a list of steps. You just have to, this list of that we can, uh, if you want to say I want this uh, step to be here, I can, it's possible. Uh, and it's just automatically regenerates a view that will be used uh, for the next processes. Uh, and every, uh, so well, yeah, there is this. <coughs> so a steps, steps can be shared between processes and um, they look like this. So you can input the XML uh, for the step. So it will be the, the view, uh, it will be this part, uh, what you see here, right? <laughs> Here, everything here is defined in the XML. Uh, what we would like to do, but it's not uh, right now because it's uh, not possible right now, but we have some, some kind of WYSIWYG to be able uh, to allow our client to manipulate it. Because really, uh, I'm not kidding, it's a real need for us. So uh, it's very, I think it's very specific, but it's really cool. And uh, it, it, well, at least it fills the need of our client. So that, that was our aim. And, um, so there are steps, you can define custom views if in case you want to say, yeah, uh, here I got a one twin, I want to use this tree view or this. Maybe the view you want d just doesn't exist, so you can create it here and call it, uh, use it in your XML. Um, and on every step, you can say what will be due uh, before you uh, display the step and what will be done after. So there are methods. Uh, we plan to Im to to allow uh, to allow the use of rules. For instance, we could check use uh, validation rules on this step, things like that, which is rather cool as well. Uh, there are authorizations. Uh, so you can say this step, uh, you need this special habilitation to see it. If you don't have it, when you go next, it uh, you have a, a screen which says, uh, sorry, you're not allowed to see this. So, so that means that you went as far as you could in the process. So um, it's plugged with the task manager. So another people uh, with, with habilitated to see this, uh, we can take the process from here and go on. Uh, that's it. And the one thing we, here, you can use a type Python that will uh, that will say when the step should be uh, available. So it will it's di dynamically uh, used in the views here uh, and. So uh, if you, if you say uh, this this step here is not possible uh, if uh, if I don't know uh, any any sort of condition Python uh, well the button will be uh, will be a uh, disabled disabled yeah and if you click next just nothing ever will happen so it's a little tricky because you had to manage the fact that uh, it's just it's a, just a string of text and you have to uh, convert it to Python evaluate it as well but it 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 works well we don't use it a lot right now because. Uh, we're still mostly using it uh, as a developing tool uh, because uh, uh, so so we don't we don't want to have quite a lot of uh, constraints <coughs> on what we're doing because we want to go fast to check to uh, to test and all. So, but it works. It's rather uh, well. Mm, it will be useful to our client. We're sure of it. So that's why we built it as well. Okay. What mm -hmm. else? Test cases. Uh, so we had another problem. We wanted to be able to create. Uh, test databases uh, quickly, and uh, the fact is, at first we used Proteus, uh, but there were quite a problem with Proteus. Uh, w one typical problem was, uh, hey, I have this module, so I ha I I wrote a Proteus script that will, for instance, create I don't know uh, two uh, two hundred parties. The problem is that I got another module, who says, hey, uh, I add this field on party and it's required. And then it's just uh, not possible anymore because uh, if you want to be uh, to be if you if you want it to work, the only way you have is to put everything in the lower module. But the fact is, then you just have to copy paste code everywhere to be able to be sure that your parties will be created properly. So we tricked a little and used uh, created this. So those are test cases. There are uh, methods that are on the server side, but on from which we can inherit. And so we're, we're reusing the uh, dependency graph of Triton to uh, be sure that our code will be properly uh, executed. The idea is that, for instance, I'm in module party, I build, I write a method that will be party test case. Uh, it's, it's 
uh, this one here, party test case. Uh, party test case just use a, m a method that will be which name is create party and calls it 200 times with different parameters. What we that allows us to say, for instance, in uh, I don't know uh, which kind of test case, maybe uh, yes, yeah, bank test case. Uh, we 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 customed it a little. We wanted to be to make the bank account mandatory required. So what we did is we overrid uh, the uh, the create party class and just add uh, the bank account uh, to the party we just created before it's been saved. So uh, in the end, everything works fine. Uh, we included a dependency management, so when you when you select a test case for execution, automatically all depending test cases are, are selected. So, so uh, this allows us to be sh to be consistent in our database creation, and uh, well, it works. <coughs> so we use it. <laughs> uh, that's about it for that. Uh, I just quickly talk about this one. Uh, we also wanted a way. Because it's a it's a production question, <coughs> we, we went on. Uh, we already worked in insurance uh, software deployment projects, and what always happened, especially when you got a very high uh, customization in the uh, which is in the database and not in the code, is that uh, usually people will want to work on a testing database for, for instance, writing pricing rules or everything. And they want to be able to take the rules and sort of automatically copy paste it on the production environment. The fact is, it's um, I just show you quickly to to give you an idea of what our uh, product definition look like. It's not a project as in a Triton project because it's a, well, uh, well I look for coverage is better, but uh, for instance, yeah, it looks like this. Mm, hope it will work. Yeah, so. This is what we call sort of a product, okay? It's not just a name and price, and it's very complicated because all the business intelligence really is in this object. So we got well, of course, there's this. There's uh, yeah, this is why uh, we have a dict field right now. It's because we wanted to be able to say uh, we, there are clients who say, "Hey, uh, my, when I uh, when I'm, I have a client who which subscribes a car uh, a car insurance, I want to know the color of the car." Okay, the idea that is totally uh, not the case for everyone. Not all companies will want it. Uh, maybe five percent will. So we don't want to be to have to do a, a custom model for it and create a new color and everything. So I wanted a way to be able to store. Data which were not uh, <coughs> which was not important from a, a relation a relation point of view in the database. We don't want to do a selection on those fields. We don't want anything. We just want to want to store it properly and be it's easily accessible. So what we're doing is we're using here we're defining uh, possible data, and when you uh, when you subscribe your contract, so I just come back here. For instance, here. Just somewhere on the project for this contract, so uh, someone said, "Yeah, there is this um, this data that I want to set to to get. Mm -hmm. It is a working mode, I say, which is the selection field with possible values. You just automatically calculate uh, the dict field you have to have on your contract based on the project from which you subscribe your contract. So that's uh, why we asked uh, B2CK to work on this dictionary field, and that's why it's now in Triton. So that's it. But what we got mainly on the product definitions are rules. There are lots of rules. There are uh, eligibility rules. We want to say, hey, uh, this guy cannot subscribe this product because he is too old, for instance, or uh, everything. It could be one of the things. There are this rule. There are pricing rules. Pricing rules are uh, when, when I say rule, it's more like uh, managers, and every one of those can have real rules there. So, for instance, here you say here on this on this project, the pricing rule will be for each uh, person who subscribes the contract. You can have the base price, which is a rule, and we can have a tax, and we can have fees and everything. So it's quickly complicated. What I mean is that we could not just say uh, when, we, when we talked about exporting things. Uh, we could not just say, uh, "Hey, I will, uh, I don't know, I will uh, generate the uh, proper uh, requ SQL request or everything." 
Also, we wanted to be able to just uh, update products, update data from one database to another. We, so that means we can't just overwrite a product, we got to update it, and we cannot break ever anything. So we use, we, we wrote something that which like is a, a software export and import, and we're storing a, a JSON, and it allows us to do quite a lot of things. It's, it's not perfect as well because it's very uh, model dependent. You got to, uh, you got to tune it finely. Some some model to say, hey, this field I don't want to export it because uh, it's not necessary, etc. So it's not very generic, but it works and it allows us to uh, to create full database, fully populated database, uh, from just importing a file. For, uh, for I mean, in in terms of uh, configuration, functional configuration. So well, that's it. Uh, I don't want to show it because it's rather complicated. But it's alright. What? Uh, finishing. So. Ah yeah. Sorry. Okay. So uh, last thing, really, really last thing uh, I would like to show you are uh, unit testing. Um, in uh, what we we w we want to do a unit test. We love unit tests. But the fact is, as I show you, maybe, and you might understand, uh, when you subscribe the contract, you need a product, and the product is overly complicated. So we don't want to have every time we test something on the contract, don't want to create a project, uh, <coughs> create a contract, and test something. So we, um, we added something to, uh, to make it possible to test through uh, with dependencies. So the idea was that you define your test, and you say something here, hey, in order for this test to work properly, I need this test from this module to be run before. Mm -hmm. And you can set a list of, uh, of tests. And so it allows us to define, for instance, uh, what I showed you earlier. Here, uh, th there is a test which creates, uh, where is it? Here. It's a test that creates a check that you can create a two dimensional table. Okay? Uh, so what I'm using, what I'm saying <coughs> here, uh, I don't remember where it is. Uh, here, I'm saying yeah. This this test on the in the rule engine module, which is another module, require this test, which creates tables, mm -hmm. to have been executed before. Yeah. So that means that in my test here, I can just say hey, the table. I'm just look mm -hmm. for the table that I created here, and I, it's I can bind it. Okay. So that allows us to make some complicated tests, uh, unit tests, unit testing, uh, without having to copy paste code everywhere. Because that was wi what we were doing at first, and it's quickly impossible to maintain. Okay, so I think that will be all. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> So if you have any question, mm -hmm. I think we do not really have the time here, but uh, just come talk to me or Roma and uh, we'll be happy to answer. When will <laughs> ah, you want a question? <laughs> when will those things be integrated? Mm -hmm. well, it, dep it depends, really. We got um, this one should <coughs> be integrated, but really it's a complicated thing. So uh, for now, well, it's just... Uh, it, it will require quite a lot of time to, to for it to be really uh, uh, ready to be included in Triton 4. Uh, we're using it uh, on our on our version every time. We got uh, we got a patched Triton D server, and uh, it's patched in the, in the client, so we're using it like it. But the fact is, it's uh, very um, it's not really stable. There are still some problems, so we're working on it uh, with uh, Cedric, but. Sometime. We, we, we need the you to help us convince uh, Cedric to uh, work on this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, any political issues or uh, if all the company are interested? <laughs> <laughs> because it's a long time to be finished from now. And, uh, it doesn't really like this. So, uh, it's a long time. so yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, tables, it's not, pos it's not difficult, so uh, it doesn't have really dependencies on our work, so it might be if, any, if someone think it could be, well, we really thought it, I, don't, I didn't see the use case for it uh, elsewhere, but why not, if, it, if it's really interesting somewhere, we may, uh, we, may uh, well, we can open it, it's no problem. Well, engine is a little more difficult because it depends on some of our work, 
for some things. But as well, I think it should be possible to, uh, if someone is really interested. But the, the fact is, it requires a client patch. Uh, so uh, if if you want to integrate it in Triton, it may be a little uh, difficult because uh, if it's only for uh, three, four people, it's not really. So we have to talk about this. But John, John, is it because of the uh, Triton work the rules like uh, tax rules or? Uh what, what do you mean? Sorry? Uh, th there is a, an, uh, a text rule in the account module. Ah, oh. So can this rule engine... Uh, I, I'm not sure it's the same purpose. The fact is, I don't know a lot about all the uh, uh, ERP feature of Triton because we're not using it and uh, right now we <coughs> do not really have the time to look for them. So if Maybe that the idea is just that we feel it's very specific to our needs at first, at least. So if you, if um, some of you really want it, we can talk about it and think about integrating in Triton Core. It's not for not for us. It's not a problem. It's just that we didn't feel that it will uh, that it will be useful for other people. So what is your opinion on the rule entry? <laughs> <laughs> Storing code in the database. <laughs> Anyways, it was very good to see um, such kind of uh, rule engine. Um, I have never seen before something like this, uh, how to handle contracts as a product, uh, as an optional product, as a product uh, with um, configuration. Yeah. It's um, very cool to see uh, it is possible in this way because um, many requests uh, in, in this direction, um, all the customers need some flexibility, but uh, when you code it in Triton, you have, um, you have uh, code it and you can't, you can't change it as a customer. And so uh, always you need to deny uh, some uh, requests. But the, 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 fact the fact is the project, as in a Triton product, is v very, very much simpler. And the fact is, I, I don't think it would be a good thing to uh, complicate it that much uh, for a general case. So that's why we built very, really what it's an insurance product. It's just something that's nothing to do with the Triton product. But uh, well, if, if you need help or anything, we can talk about it. I said, just come talk to us and uh, discuss. Uh, okay, processes is something uh, as well which is very complicated and maybe not suited to other uh, products or other um, businesses, processes. So I don't know if anyone is interested, but it, it's built to be sort of, um, I'd say, uh, we, we thought about m making it available to everyone, so, so it, should be, uh, it should be possible uh, easily if uh, there are people interested. Uh, test cases and unit tests are more like frameworks, so it's just uh, I don't know how it's it's complicated because, uh, for instance, uh, why not? This one? There are dependencies on some of our uh, higher level uh, framework that we uh, that we created because we, we had special needs. So I'm not sure it, it will be easily uh, exportable, but could give it a try. I know that uh, Nicola, for instance, was interested for the unit test framework, so maybe we'll we'll work something out on this. Export and import is really difficult, so I won't. Uh, <laughs> not now. It's, it requires a lot, a lot of fine tuning in the uh, in the code, so it's not uh, it's not really far, but it exists. <laughs> mm. So if someone has really had exactly this need, we can talk about it as well. Okay. But right now there's a conflict with the um, the set three state. If I remember, there are, uh, there are, there was a problem with that one. That's the reason for which it's still uh, waiting. But we can work on it. So. Okay.